Hello friends, so in this video we'll just talk about the theory part uh, regarding Cosmos DB and in the coming up sessions uh, we'll get into the hands-on. So let's take a moment and talk about what is Cosmos DB. Cosmos DB is a cloud-based and uh, NoSQL database. Now it's mainly used in OLTP transactions like online transactions processing and now those who are not aware of what is NoSQL, let's take a step back and let me quickly explain the NoSQL. So when I say NoSQL, it's just not the SQL. Uh, and uh, what exactly it means it is that when we talk about the RDBMS, you know, we have a tabular data format, wherein on top you have the, the columns and on the left side you have the rows. Okay. But in the NoSQL, it provides a way other than the tabular data format to store the database information. Now let's look at a couple of benefits uh, NoSQL provides over RDBMS. So the first is higher operational speed, uh, ease to store data. That is something we'll look into uh, uh, in this video. And the last is scalability. Going to the next slide. So we have the RDBMS and uh, when we talk about the RDBMS, a couple of database names comes into our mind like SQL Server, Oracle and MySQL. And as I mentioned, the problem with the with these databases, they have a rigid structure. And uh, when I say that, it means that, uh, you know, if they're following 10 columns table, you know, you have to provide either all the 10 columns or, you know, some of them from the 10 columns only. If you have additional data, you know, it's going to skip or maybe error out. The other problem is scalability. I'm sure you must have, uh, you know, faced a real-time scenario where you have a table and uh, as the time grows uh, it grows and uh, you know it creates a problem for you so let's look look at uh, the rigid structure so you have a you know a small table with the client details you have client name first you know number first name last name and other details and your application is interfacing with a couple of other applications and you get a data in this format where they're providing client first name address city contact preference rent okay or another client uh, which with the different api uh, provides a different data uh, in this format now what you have to do is if you have to store all the information you might need another table where you reference the client id with the address or you know if you have multiple reference coming from the the, the interfacing application you would create another table uh, with the client ID and uh, reference. Now, NoSQL does solve your this problem wherein you can store whatever information is provided to you in a fashion that it's not validated against the schema. Uh, now, let's look at, uh, you know, what kind of a database we have uh, in a NoSQL. So the first come is a document database, a document DB. Uh, the example I would say is MongoDB wherein, you know, the data is stored in its natural format or probably JSON. And uh, let's look at a couple of JSON examples here. So you see that uh, in these three examples, I have different set of data, but we should be able to store all this information. And once this information is stored in MongoDB or NoSQL database, later on we can decide if you want to, you know, how, how you want to process that data further. So this is the example for document database. Let's move on. Uh, the second type of database we have is a key value database where everything is stored uh, in two format. One is key and one is value. So you simply provide the key here and uh, you get the value in terms of uh, the data. Uh, the example would be a Redis database. All right, uh, the third type of uh, no SQL database would be a white column database. Uh, the example here would be the Cassandra database and what it does is everything stored in columns. So like the way you have, uh, you know, data stored in terms of rows when we are talking about the RDBMS database, it's totally different when it comes to the Cassandra database or white column database. It was developed by Facebook developers and it's used by, you know, Facebook to support their search for functionality or search feature and as you can see that since it's stored in columns it's easy to scale horizontally 
All right. So the next type of database we have is a graph DB or also called uh, the node based database. The example for that would be a Neo4j database and what exactly it does is uh, it stores everything in terms of nodes and then you know it has a pointer to other nodes for the reference. Uh, so that's it on the uh, node based database and uh, let's get to the Cosmos DB now and uh, thank you. Bye bye.